the best FIFA 17 tips, check out FIFASolve.com. Hi guys, it's Stephen from FIFA Solved and welcome back to the highly anticipated FIFA 17 tutorial, the scoop turn. This is a four star or five star skill. Um, I'm going to be covering the four star variation a little more because it's a little more difficult. With the five star variation you don't have to hold the left trigger down, the um, protect the ball button. But with the four star variation you do. So with all of these controls and everything I'm telling you, with the five star skillers, all you've got to remember is you just don't need to hold the left trigger down. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to be covering the four star variation of it, the much more difficult one. Um, if you could smash a like on this video, guys, I'd really appreciate it because this one's very hard to explain this skill move but I'm going to make it sure that you understand it fully and um, this is the division one killer as I call it because it absolutely annihilates division one and, and players in foot champions so how to do it as I said you need to hold the left trigger button down for the entirety for the entire time you're performing the skill move okay and you also want your back to goal you want it in defeat we're not playing the, the through ball here we're not getting in behind we're, um, we're coming short and it's in defeat with your back to goal so you're sort of like protecting it. With the protect button already you, you're going to take the first touch with the protect button because you need to hold that down for the entire time so it, it kind of works. So with um, Lanzini here, as I said look with your back to goal you, you're protecting the ball and the defender's coming out. Look at that defender rushing out towards Lanzini. Holding the left trigger down for the entire time that's LT on Xbox or L2 on Playstation. right? And then what you're going to be doing after that is a quick fake shot. And with a fake shot, you can do it either way. I really don't care, guys. Whichever is more suitable for you and what, what you're more comfortable with. Shoot them pass or cross them pass. It doesn't matter which one you do. Uh, you're still holding the left trigger down for the entire time. And I've put the roulette tutorial in, my previous tutorial, the previous video, specifically because it, it, it coincides with this. So we're going to move the left stick. It's the left stick, not the right stick. In the direction you're sort of facing. The, the opposite direction to what you're shooting. And then you're going to move it round like a smiley face into the direction you're shooting. So we're gonna move it all the way around, just like the roulette. The only difference is it's not the right stick. Same motion, same controls, you know, with the with the stick, but it's with the left stick this time. That's all that's different. So if you've nailed the roulette, you'll be able to nail this. All you've got to do is hold the, the left trigger down and then do a quick fake shot and then do the left stick motion with holding the left trigger down the entire time. And I'm gonna be covering in, in a little, uh, just a sec actually, uh, the areas of the pitch in which to use it. Um, it's incredibly OP. Um, this skill move is probably the most overpowered in the game. It really does destroy Division 1 players. Even the top class, world class players in the world will be caught out by this. So this is a great example of Raheem Sterling. So I've got into feet and you can do two variations. You can move the left stick, look I'm moving it down and in a smiley face towards the goal. So I'll show you on, on, on screen now with the actual finger controls. Holding that left trigger down the entire time, I showed you that. Quick fake shot, and then I move it to the right, and then smiley face, and then we're facing, end up facing the direction we're, we're, we're shooting. Or you can do it up. So you move it to the right, smiley face upwards, and then we're ending on the direction we're shooting at. Same thing, but all it does is, that does the scoop turn down that way, and the other ver version upwards does it that way. And I'll go for the upwards version in, in this uh, specific example because look I absolutely do the defender but here's another tip to see which way the defenders coming round at you which way is he coming round at you and he he comes tight on that Gabriel Jesus here and you can see look he's moving downwards in a downwards motion so I know he's gonna come down I don't do the down uh, scoop turn I do the up scoop turn and look at me leave him absolute for dead and um, because I scooped around him the right way you've got to look at their position which way is he coming round me is he coming round me this way is he coming round me that way whichever way he goes I'm gonna go the other way and um, that's what you've got to think of with it, guys. As for the areas of the pitch uh, where to use, absolutely no doubt about this, guys, 100%. You want to use it in and around the penal uh, opponent's penalty box. Um, in the penalty area specifically, I would more go with, but just outside is fine, but that's the furthest you want to do it, just outside the box. Um, you know, either on the wing at the, at the byline or just outside the box, but really in that penalty area, you can win penalties, you'll do the defender, and then straight after you do the scoop turn, you'll, have, you'll be so close to goal, you'll literally have a shot on goal. So that is the areas of the pitch to do it, guys. Um, as I said, with the five-star variation, all you've got to remember is that um, you don't have to hold the left trigger down because they're five-star skillers, they just don't need it, they're so good, you know. But with four-star skillers, um, you have to hold the left trigger down for the entirety. Um, and it is only a four-star or five-star skill. So, guys, I hope this explained it and you'll be able to do the scoop turn now. I've really covered everything you need to know about it. 
hope it all makes sense. It should do. Uh, really, there are no more controls than that. It's a very daunting one at first. It might. Uh, it's not simple. I'm not going to say this skill move is simple because it isn't. It, it scared me at first when I first was trying it on FIFA 13 or 14 or whenever it was a long time ago now. But once you get used to it, it becomes the norm to you, just like all skill moves. And you'll be an absolute pro when you master it. Please master this one, guys, because it is so OP. It will help you and score you so many goals. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to have a speed boost one up soon and uh, under 10k squad builder. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you for the next tutorial, guys.